welcome back. We've got the band back together. Well, half of the band. Yeah. Nate's not here. Derek's not here. We got Craig Ludwig. We got Kevin Mench, John Radigan. Um, Suds with Luds, we do that sometimes. We do that. Menchie's got his podcast. Derek Harper has a podcast. Nate Newton has a podcast. And we are all under the Playmakers umbrella now. Today, we're at the Bond Shop, which is a brand new restaurant in Irving. They have great Asian food. Everything from the Bon Mi sandwiches to Pad Thai to fried rice. You got to get out here. Try the Bond Shop because it's also got this great big bar right in the middle. So this ain't no payway. This ain't no, uh, you know, what's the Panda Express, right? Yeah. This is a place to come, sit. Well, there goes that sponsor. Yeah, sorry. Watch a, <laughs> I don't think they're going to sponsor us now. Uh, watch a game. Big, huge stream TV. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Um, and we're glad you're here uh, checking us out. Uh, Kevin Mench happens to be here as the baseball season opens. Craig Ludwig happens to be here as we wind down the Stars season. So there's a lot to talk about, Menchie. Yeah, opening day we got with that. How much time you got? Of course, he's on a tight schedule. I think we got about 28 minutes, so first pitch. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. 6.35 start, I think, Okay. tonight. So. How, how much time do we have with you? About that much. About time. that much time. Are yeah. the Brewers on? I don't know. Can we get the Brewers game on? We may be able to. Okay. Yeah, you like the Brewers, huh? Yeah. Um, <laughs> your mem- well, first of all, Nancy, memories of the World Series for you. I know you don't watch baseball. No. Did you watch the postseason? Wait a minute. I did. He doesn't. No. You don't watch baseball no. at all? I equate it when people ask me, I too, does a police officer go home and watch cops? Do you go home and watch hockey games? Well, wait a second. Are you not working and doing some televised telecasting? No. And- no, no, nothing. We've, we've not? actually we've, oh, we've right. tried to get him into it, and yeah. he says, "I got to watch the game." We're like, "Yeah, you got to watch the game." No, I, I don't want to do it. Then. Probably they're going. No. Man, his head doesn't. Does the a doctor doesn't it. go home and watch ER, do they? I, I mean, think for, so. think no, about. But it. I, I thought you they would have your nah, professional. I mean, we could I could talk about it for hours, but just sitting there, what the one game I did. Is do, it boring for you to watch? Yeah, two? he did. He did one. Yeah, one. Right, at, coming out of the All Star break, yeah. first game. Two hour rain delay. It was a two to one game with about five <laughs> hits. I was ready to shoot myself. And I'm sitting there. Uh, you're and, not a and, very good advocate for the sport right no, now. No, I'm because I'm sitting and it's just you're one of those because we're creatures, right? Baseball players are creatures of habit. We have you have that much time off, and here we are, and we're sitting there, and it was two o'clock in the morning, and we're sitting here talking about baseball. Like, oh, this was fun, five hits, blah blah. What do you talk about? It's it I can talk for hours. I could much rather talk hockey, yeah. football, yeah. Ba- basketball, right? We're at Sweet yeah. 16. My Tar Heels are playing tonight. A great time. So, so did the the rule changes as far as uh, oh. pitch time and thing help out at all? No, not it, at all. It doesn't change anything. And I don't think. And even doctors will tell you what they're trying to do. You're rushing guys to get through it. Oh, I get see. Get through th- different kinds of it. I mean, we have bases that are the size of a pizza box. When are we going to go the double base like they have in softball at first yeah. base, right? So you don't touch them. Yeah. I mean, what are we doing? Yeah, this is the purity of the game. What if they took the hockey puck and made it bigger? Or they made the boards like a, like a wrestling ring? I mean, you're trying to bring in fans that really don't care about the sport. The purest. World Baseball Classic, for instance. Games, yeah. those semifinal, final games. Games are three and a half hours. Was anybody complaining about it? No. No. Why? Because you're glued to your TV. Wait, now, Do the fans like it, though? Because they're in they and do. out a the little purists, bit? Good. They do. No, Some yes. do. The purists Not the don't. Purists. No. Yeah. The ones that are that you pick up off the side of the street. They're the ones that are, oh, okay. But you go to a Rangers game, just for instance. Hey, Luds, let's go get something to eat. We come back. Oh, man, we just missed three innings. So I just paid $300 to miss three innings of baseball as opposed to sitting there, enjoying it, being able to come back. Oh, they're still, right, you're still going. You know, you have long innings. You know, it, that's just that's just the way the game is. But I just I just think the way the game is going. I mean, we have robot umpires in AAA Minus, baseball yeah, now. Yeah. At what point are you going to be able to sit Wait, at home? home? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Robots. Oh, yeah. So if you don't like a strike or Wait, something, what? they can tap their helmet or something, and then they call upstairs and they go, oh, that was a strike according to the box. Okay, you're out, as opposed to walking. Yeah. Yes. It's like a video game. Yeah. Yes. It that's is. what it's going to come to. Somebody's going to be sitting there, or I guess per the contract, I will have to play my guy in the game and then move on, and then I don't get hurt, right? Right. No occupational hazards anymore. Maybe a little uh, carpal tunnel. Other than that, now yeah. we're not playing the game, as opposed to 
sweating it out. Gone are the are the grinders. Gone are the like your era hockey. Gone yeah. are the are yeah. the guys who go out right. The Bob Proberts who go out. The Ty Domi's go out and just fight somebody. Yeah. Now. So are you, will you notice uh, in our pitchers having an issue injury wise because you're of hearing the about it? Well, yes. Not much yet, but they will. Yes. They will. It's just it's. Yeah. It's long. There's not, yes, there's not enough studies to, right. prove, to to show that now. But if you go ask them, who made? I think it was Scherzer that made the comment about it. This is why guys are getting hurt. Yeah. Talk to doctors. Um, I'm sure if you sat down with Meister and talk about it and see, these guys are coming in because of what they're doing. I talked with Bryce Harper last year, opening day. You know, he was coming off uh, Tommy John, and I said, Bryce, I said, hey, you know, what are your thoughts on this pitch clock? He goes, this is this is this is terrible. It's, think about it. the year before a, a, NLCS, bottom of the eighth inning, two-two. Right, it was a tie. I think it was a tie game. They yeah. were down one, man on. If you'd be watching, you'd know. This. Yes, I was watching, but I can barely remember last week. And you're lucky I remember this. And I'm asking, and, and all right, 20 seconds. You're not in the box. Okay, you're you're out. You struck out because you didn't get in there time wise. Wait, time out here. You've just changed the outcome of a baseball game because you're worried about time. Let moments happen. I th- and they talked about changing, and I think for the postseason, oh, we'll add it. And then when they start this year, they backed off. They took, like, they two seconds off of it yeah, now they did. or something. So now it's got to be faster. And there was something else I saw in spring training where they're an interference play on a guy going to field. So it would be you like you going yeah. to block a shot, but you don't kind of get in You get in the way too soon. You got yeah. to your spot too soon. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a goal because you blocked it too soon. Guys are going to receive a throw to second base. As they go down, they put a knee down. Well, they call it interference so runner's safe. But if the ball comes to you, you're allowed to be in, in front of the base. If it takes you into it's, – Yes, it's, yeah, it's, and it's pretty much a judgment call in many cases. Is it, too, yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Does it affect beer sales? <laughs> Does it affect you know, <coughs> advertising? It did, it, did. it did last like year. The, game, in the games were going so quick. Yes. I don't know about commercials. I think they're still so the getting revenues those in. wouldn't be affected by it. Uh, now yes. the clock oh. is. I think the clock. The commercials are based on the clock, right? Because at, between innings, there's two and a half minutes. Maybe they shorten so, that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't think so, they right? shorten the commercials. You play and you do right. this. How do you guys not know these? I, I didn't we, play with it with this damn clock. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't think they shorten you're commercial still a breaks. Of the game, no. right? This, but you can't yeah. shorten commercial breaks because yes. that's where the money is. Yeah, you're paying. So you're so. But I mean, you're getting in less commercials. No, right? Still nine innings, right? You still have a break between. Every inning, but the game length is shorter, right? Yeah, but so, uh, so the percentage of commercials within a game is greater because it's the same number of commercials in a shorter game. So to shorten this duration <laughs> of watching a game, that was baseball's idea. They said, let's shorten the actual playing so, time, not the. Uh, so then, wouldn't more people put your TV on pause? And then fast forward through the commercials and watch the game, so you don't have to watch all the commercials. Uh, that's freaking heresy. Don't you have to watch the commercial? Wait, how do you think I've gotten paid all these years? <laughs> You're one of those guys you want to pay and have no commercials. I want to yes. pay no commercial during the like hockey. Hulu. Yes. Like yeah. Hulu, exactly. pay the extra four bucks. I can't. I, I'll never watch a show live. A, I don't oh, watch any. Well, that's what they're doing now. Everything now. Everything you go to pay. Uh, now you have to have commercials unless you want to pay the extra money. So they're yeah. right. It's just like you go to buy a ticket when you, we were growing up. Thirty-five dollar ticket. Now you have to pay thirty-five dollars. Um, Ten dollar processing fee, yeah. five dollar handling yeah. fee, yeah. ten dollar city surcharge. Yeah. Suddenly, it's a ninety dollar ticket. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 I know. And that's yeah. the problem. There's no, it's it's just like anything else. Nothing is ever set in stone. There's all, like you said, there's these umpires have a little bit of leeway what they're doing. It's just like anything else, right? Scalping tickets. You can't go scalp a ticket anymore. I go to a game. I went to the World Series that was here. Right? You did yeah. with not no in 2020. Oh, got gotcha. COVID, which is. First time since 1944. Yeah. No World Series in a neutral site. What do you? What was your as a thing as a kid going to a hockey game? Nostalgia, right? Coming home from a game, you wanted a, a ticket, right? Of a game you went. The stub. Yes. Yeah. yeah it's on your. It's no. On your phone. Uh-uh. It's on There's your no phone. stub anymore. Yeah. No. So what do you suppose? The memory you have is just up here, as yeah. opposed to collecting things, right? I'm thinking. I mean, I found uh, my Transformers thermos from 1984 right. from Hasbro. I mean, yeah. they don't make them anymore. Yeah. You want nostalgia? We're about our sports are about nostalgia. There's no more to it. We got to get a shirt made up. Yeah. For Benchy's podcast, where it's got him sitting on his lawn with the logo "Get off my get lawn." Get off my lawn. Get off my lawn. <laughs> You're just a grumpy old man. <laughs> you got me on my soapbox. Yeah. But you so, asked for it. So let's get back to the World Series, though, for just a minute. I mean, as a former player. 
How did it hit you? What, what were you feeling when they won the World Series? I was feeling for those fans that have been here since 72. Yeah. The ones that you run into that are, that are there from, you know, from the beginning to the end, right through 50, was it 52 years? Is that what it was? 52 here and yeah. of course 61. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so those fans that have dealt with that, that have all that, that pain and everything else, those are the fans you feel for, right? The ones that have been through it, that have been with the teams that were bad, the teams that were yep. good. That, those are the fans that you feel for because it's the, the euphoria. I mean, you hear stories about families. You know, I, my dad got to see this before he passed away, mm -hmm. and, you know, and being a part of it. Or he didn't, but we're able to, you know, to take that and see that memory and see the fans and, and how the jubilation of what they have. I mean, when, when last week I was telling about being in Waxahachie at the McDonald's, these fans are, I mean, this is, it, you know, it's, it's not something that happens all the time. No, no. You're a chance to see it, especially, I mean, it's, it's amazing for them, for the organization. You know, people are going, are you going to go this? I go, I didn't win any World Series. The, the organization did. You know, the people yeah. that had been, you know, that worked at the front office staff, did you those play, people. Were, did you play with any of the players? That, no. So, mm -mm. You now, are, you, are you friends with anybody? I mean, have you? No. Not no, really I mean, some of the coaches, anybody. you know, hey, yeah. uh, Matt, Mike, you know, Mad Dog and, yeah. and Beasley, yeah. uh, and those guys you know, that are still there. Frazier's still there. Yeah. Um, as far, you know, the club, some of the clubhouse guys that are yeah. there that have been there. Those guys, you know, that have, from behind the scenes guys that, yeah. that have done it, um, and it's for the for the city of Arlington, you know, for everything that they, you know, remember the big thing was when you know there was, Ar where's where's Arlington? There, I thought they were, you know, and here we are, and this team with with what they've been through, right? The odds last year to do it were. They didn't no. Especially in, in last week of the season. Exactly. They might not have made the playoffs. Exactly. When they they won. Won. How I mean, many how many years did you play for the Rangers? Six. In your six years, did they do, in your mind, the things to allow you guys to win a championship? Like they, it seemed like they did to this current team. And the moves. What, was, what, was, what did everyone always say, Brad, when we were here? Pitching. Nobody wanted to come here and pitch. Right? Nobody wanted to pitch here. And it was a bad era. What, what were those six? Remind me of the exact six. Oh, gosh. Oh, two to oh, six. Yeah. Why do you they say were, nobody wanted to pitch? Well, because it's too hot. Oh, it's too, oh, yeah. The heat, I mean, the heat, heat, now again, you can get the Jacob DeGroms and the Max Scherzers to agree now, yeah, because we have an air-conditioned ballpark. Right. That's how they got that great pitching uh, last offseason and then at the trade deadline. But you couldn't. Nobody wanted to come here and pitch, and and you know, the players in general, the heater, hitters especially, would try to use it to their advantage. But you know, it wasn't an advantage. No, that you're used to the heat, and that's the thing. You, so you were always battling with. You think about you know it's just in the it just in the baseball for instance, most of the teams that that have success in the postseason are where, are located where, up north yeah where it's cooler yeah right they play in what yeah. about the Marlins, don't they, they like win every other year? They bought, oh, they, they had none. No, time. they were yeah, they, they were one of those teams bit. where they went out yeah. and they spent the money don't they for have two a, years. A payroll that's here, then all of a sudden it's here. Yes, for, for two years, ninety seven yeah. and 03. 03. 03, yeah. 03 was yeah. where yeah. they just splurged, kind of just they went after it and they got, and they right you gambled they won it. So I mean, it's but most of the teams you look at are the ones that are up that are up north because I think one because of the weather they're able to do that and I think last year with the, the new ballpark being able to what's the what's the Brewers' excuse then? That's a great question. Yeah, <laughs> maybe it's too cold there. Yeah, okay. there is too cold. Well, there is no there is no AC yeah. there. Only heat in, in, in yeah, Milwaukee, yeah. so it could yeah. be. But, but he's it, right. Yankees, Red Sox, you know, Phillies, Dodgers. Not they're not up north, but the weather. But, but the weather, great yeah, the weather's beautiful yeah, the weather's out there. But that's great. what I mean. So it's. Yeah. I think a lot of it has to play in. It's not in the atmosphere too. I mean, fans. Think about think about growing up in Wisconsin. Fan base for the Packers, right? For for the Brewers, were they there? Were they there regardless? Yeah. No. And that's what I mean. It's it, that's all think about it is in Texas, sporting wise, what is it? Yeah. Is, it's a, is it a fan? <laughs> is it something to do? Right. It was, you know, there were people who called the, the ballpark in Arlington the picnic grounds in Arlington, right? Because yeah. you went there and you had a great time. It was a beautiful place, but you weren't there to watch a baseball game. Right. You know, because, and then they did, I mean, to their credit, they did a lot of things right in the late 90s. I was still around then, and they were doing a lot of things right, you know, making trades at the trade deadline, doing the things that took, yeah. made the playoffs three out of the last four years in the 90s. But you just run into a buzzsaw of teams. Yankees. Where, yeah, yeah, Yankees. Yankees every year. With, yep. with, but with, 
development throughout their organization. They came through. I yeah. mean, all those guys really came up together. Yeah. What's and the that, salary cap bill? In oh my gosh! I mean, no, no, I don't. Is there not none? one? There's a, oh, it's, there's it's, a it's threshold. It's, it's a luxury yeah. tax. Luxury yeah. luxury yeah. yeah. that they have. Yeah. And, like and so that's kind of what the Yankees did year after year, right? Yes. Well, no. What I think what I think originally what it was. So if they went over the threshold, they had to pay their luxury tax to the least spending team. Yep. But then, then yeah. we had heard rumblings that, so I think it was Montreal at the time, so if the Yankees were, needed to pay $100 million, it was going to Montreal, but they weren't going out and signing free agents. They were basically pocketing money. Yeah. But it happened in hockey too, right? They were they yeah. tried it that few yeah. years. I remember Kim Janssen in Philly. They were the, the, the luxury tax had to go to I think Minnesota. They didn't have the money to sign them, but Minnesota well, got they, their money, so they went and signed them. But you're supposed to spread it around the teams that don't make enough. Right. Yeah, that that's out. what they were and doing. They, and that, they do that now more. It's yeah. distributed more evenly. So but then the Rangers will pay some luck, not a not a huge amount, but they'll if their if their roster stays the same this year, they'll pay some luck. Tax. Was the Rangers payroll anywhere near? No, some of the it was other usually teams? only it was only usually two or three yeah. teams. Yeah, L.A. Okay. Ball, it was usually it was definitely the Yankees, Red Sox, Red Sox, and maybe the Dodgers. And so they didn't the go out. And, yeah, so yeah, usually they basically didn't go out and buy a champion. They no. no, the Rangers. Yeah, they did this time though. They did. Yeah, they no, were, that's what I'm saying. Last I'm year, this time. Yeah, no, last year they were this close to. I thought when they signed Scherzer. Yeah. But the Mets ended up picking up a big part of his salary. Yeah. If they had taken Scherzer's whole salary, they would have gone over the luxury tax last year. So they were, they were flirting with it, yeah. you know, and and you could. That, but that's the game you've got to play now yeah. in any sport, sure. right? It's yeah. just that's just the way it is. It's, but I think it, it does in any sport. The parity now, you've got teams that are that are competitive, right? That, you know, I, like Minnesota, for instance. I mean, their wins they win the division last year in the Central. Yet their wins put them maybe third or fourth in any other division. Yeah. So so you have teams that play. Okay, right. What what are the playoffs about? Just get in, right? You're there. Everybody's got a chance. Exactly, and I think not everybody, teams, but that's you can you tell. Say. Especially, I think Minnesota at the end of the year, um, of knowing that okay, we're not going to catch that one seed or two seed. Let's rest these guys. Let's get in, but it doesn't always work out right. for them. No, and, and that's and, the thing. But it does add throughout the league, and in any, I think in any sport you see it now. There's a lot more parity, but now, but what else is popping up now? You've got leagues forming over Europe where teams are coming basketball, right? Yep. That I, that I don't know if I heard that right, but that the Saudi league offered James Harden like nine hundred million dollars yeah, to yeah, come yeah. play for a year or something yeah. stupid. Yeah, I mean, like they're doing in golf or baseball. They're doing, but yeah, well, baseball yeah. now they've got a yeah. baseball league in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, yeah. Well, but the golf thing is, is that kind of like the, the golf thing. They stole basically our best yeah. players, right? Not yeah. all of them. Oh, and that is what is that? It's caused a rift between. Guys, that you know, we're buddies, but you went over there because you were looking at the money and everything else. Now, all of a sudden, you know, you're an ass. I don't like you because of. Yeah. Here's a good segue for you. Yeah. Well, Tani. Yeah. <laughs> 700 so, million. Yeah. And he's or his trainer or his yeah. uh, well, translator. I think he's a trainer, translator, <laughs> bookie. <laughs> bookie. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. He, uh, so, how are you getting out of that yeah. shithole? Yeah. I, I have no idea. The word is that the the translators for the Japanese player, like the Japanese player that needs a translator, right? He don't wanna he don't wanna mess with any American shit, you know? So no banking, no nothing, translator does it all. And that's kind of been the way it goes with these. They do the banking yes. also? So that's why people are freaked that how could four point five million be, you know, missing? The reality is that all the money Shohei Otani has made. That's like a tip at the bar. Well, I was right. gonna say, yeah, for what he's quite pocket paid. change, yeah. but you know, and he didn't take it all at once. I mean there's you know, five hundred thousand here, whatever <laughs> there, whatever there. I, I don't know how much it took. But but the point he might have taken more than four points. So you actually believe that story? I believe that that's a possibility because that's the way it works right now did Shohei I don't know Shohei knew I mean maybe you know maybe knew I, I mean think about this Luds what the media only tells us about 20 percent of what goes on right that's what we hear enough to keep you peak but eh. well, wait now if I'm your translator neither one of us speak English so we could I could right? have a yeah, translator. Work. yeah if I'm your translator before I make a bet if that's what happened would I not ask you hey so and so is pitching tonight what do you think I should go now doesn't that yeah, make that, but, does that not make him guilty? Yeah. Is this not a Pete Rose thing, or is this not? This this is because it, of yeah. what you're because of what you're seeing. Yeah. They went through and they showed the games that were bet on by the interp, interp, interpreter, yeah. and which 
it could be a coincidence, but you see the numbers that were posted by Otani on those. But at that but also too he just signed this deal so the money this could have been yeah right, oh, it was, so yeah. but at this, so what are we getting at here but for right you're under federal investigation kind of like the whole balco thing that comes out because this place the feds are already looking at it but who somebody in there's leaking this information because there's you know, there's got to be more to this story than he's so, not going to be the only one I, no. I guarantee you so that. so I did not see the numbers so, so on the games that were bet on were his numbers like silly good no they silly were bad. silly bad to the point like I, I don't understand the plus the oh plus is this like minus. a basketball thing where you're missing the ball the yes we're almost like a, like a shaving point type oh, thing from what I saw. oh that's what you're talking okay that's, I, but like I said because this is because the reality is you can't make yourself silly there, good, I think there was you, right? yeah, the games yeah. that he had I think he had one game that was that he had I think the pitch numbers were, the, were were bad. The hitting stuff, the, well, yeah, I think he had a couple home runs one game. But it, this and those just, just happened to be the games that the, the yes. trainer but, or whatever. But that's what going. I mean. But, but like I said, when I saw the number, you know, plus 165 or minus one, what, I don't know, you know, yeah. people can explain it to you. I'm not a, you know, analytics yeah. with that. But yeah. that's but just seeing that. So there's going to be more to this because of there's got to be a scapegoat, right? He, yeah. I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> This hey, Major League Baseball is going to look bad no matter which way this goes, yes. right? Because if if the guy if they just try to you know make the guy like you said we said off camera like samurai, right? He falls on his sword, you yeah. know. If they make him do that, it looks terrible. By the same token, because again, there's enough skepticism in our yes. world that people aren't going to believe that this guy did it completely independent. And in sports, what is it? You're guilty until proven innocent. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. ever yes, yeah. but especially but especially in sports, right? High profile things, I mean, that come out. I mean, you just made seven hundred fifty million dollars or whatever he got, and now all of a sudden this comes out. What's going? What's what's going on? I'm, what I'm wondering. I'm wondering what the translator kickback's going to be to fall on the sword, right? Like, dude, just I, I, I mean, you're never going to do anything again for the rest of life. Just yeah, leave it I alone. mean, but does he go to jail? The translator. Right for for well, what did he do? Uh, 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 okay, money. I guess would not, be considered yeah, but, money laundering. Yeah. Considered but Otani would have to like yeah. person prosecute him or whatever. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. They yeah. gotta yeah. say so, yeah. Hey, he put did it, it this way: that dude's gonna disappear. Press charges. Yeah, he's, he's probably gonna, gonna disappear. Yeah. He'll be. He's probably in jail you know by probably, now. Yeah, yeah. The, the yakuza probably has a has. He's probably get tied to the yakuza some somewhere along this whole thing. He right? might be part owner. How much is gambling? Influence sports now. Now you have you have you have two major sports teams in the gambling capital of the world, right? Right. And you're working on a third. And a third's coming. I mean, third. it's, and got it's just a matter of time before they're going to have a basketball team. Of course, correct. Yeah. And all of a sudden, now you have. The, are you kidding me? And now, but yet, Pete Rose, you, the pariah of all this. You are mm -hmm. you are bad from. Everything happened after baseball. He, I think, he applied for reinstatement again, right, Chris, he did. with Manfred. He did. And he's not going to give it no to him. No chance. No chance. You're going to. Here's the thing, like to the point of, right, why is Valley Sports called Valley Sports? That's a naming rights deal. Valley does not own that sports network. They just bought the naming rights. And the reason they did that is Valley, the, uh, you know, the casino operator. That's that Valley, yeah. right? And they did it because they want you to be betting. Now, they ha we haven't gotten the technology there yet. But they want you it's to just, be it's betting a flag. during the game, right? They want you to say it's the ninth inning and it's 14 to 5. But they want people to stay tuned in. So they go, ah, you think the uh, Rangers will come back and get to within, you know, get to 7. Oh, oh yeah. That all day, yeah. right? I'll, bet yeah. you, I'll throw 5 bucks yeah. on that, you know. And that's and we're, so we're going to have that. I mean, that's why well, Valley did it. Think about it. What's right across the street from Globe Life Field? I don't know. The ballpark? Choctaw Stadium. Oh, good oh. point. Yeah, good point. Yeah. yeah. Who's putting up a flag? Now, right you're, here. You're a conspiracy theorist going on right now. I'm just I'm trying. Just I'm, just, I'm just thinking, though, what what is coming to Texas here? It, I, oh, I, I, isn't Mark oh, Cuban that, got something yeah, to do with maybe gambling? Thing. And, yeah, and again, yeah. And again, you know, the new but, owners, but, but, that's but, all they own. But, and that's and that's the, but just, but think, that's just where this is going. But you're right. Now they're going to keep you in your seats to, what's the over under for, I mean, yeah. think about the Super Bowl. You can probably bet on the wind direction on a field goal yeah. and all this stuff. So yeah. you're going to be sitting in your seat. Okay, like you said, 14 to 5. Okay, what are the five-pitch walk here? Yeah. Bet on. Boom. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Right? right? This is what, or, this is what it's got. Bet on a number of pitching changes. Yes. You know, I mean, they're just going to keep betting it, but, on everything. But, but, it's, but it's usually – I mean, you can't – think about hockey. There's not much you can bet on hockey, really, other than – 
not like it is with baseball, basketball. There isn't, you know. the, there isn't the time. No. Right. Yeah. There isn't to the do time. it. Baseball has. You're the talking time. about like you can bet right now. Yes. Kind of thing? Yeah. Well, all the shot props and things like that. You know, like a certain player. You know, yeah. over three shots or you know that kind of yeah. stuff. But yeah, I, so you're gonna have dudes. Does so they have? I can bets. bet. I can bet right now if I look over there. I can get another beer. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's all you get. But not. Guess <laughs> not. No, I'm not, not bad. No, you're not that. Well, I don't gamble. You're, you're not that impressive. But, yeah. think, but think about it. What they've done. I mean, just the, one of them, please. The Thank rules you. that are implemented in the sports now. What's the, the latest with the NFL? This kickoff rule now. Right. It's, yeah. They're trying to make it like the XFL, where you right. have they yeah. all line up ten yards apart and then. it <laughs> Thank and then, you. so there's not. You want to join the podcast? Yeah, come just on. come on and give us your sports opinions. <laughs> <laughs> She's got to do her hair, so do I. Got to yeah, fix mine. Yeah, real quick. yeah. Yours looks good though. Hey, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I worked pretty hard, worked on, hard this on that. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but you think about that? What it's come to? The amount? What gambling has done for any for any of these sports? I mean, the guys. You have. You, you can't tell me that the guys aren't taking kickbacks, right? Of course. I mean, so. You don't. You don't. You're hearing about it. What was What was the last one? The NBA was. Uh, I know the official Donahue. Yeah, I thought yes, I was just saying that was yeah, the official. Was, was the big yeah. one with Donahue. Now, with that, no, somebody else with the Raptors just got busted for oh, it. Oh, that was a young guy. The gamble. Before. A guy that doesn't even play. Yeah. Oh, it was a player. Yeah, it doesn't even oh, play. Oh, yeah, it was over under minutes or yeah. something to talk yeah. about. Yeah, the guy with the Raptors that <laughs> talked about the, the difference. But, I mean, think about it. When we were playing, was I thinking about gambling or somebody else betting on my sport? No. But now, it's everywhere Did you Did you go. know anybody who would have even considered gambling at that time on your teams? No, because even, I mean, because sports, I mean, if you're into sports, you know, you're kind of into gambling a little bit, right? Yeah. But so, but I just, I'm, yeah, guys, I mean, guys gamble. I mean, they're playing cards. They're not gambling mm-hmm. on, you know, we're, we're, we go to Vegas preseason. We end up, we got rained out. We didn't play any games. But guys were just down there at a casino hanging out. And, you know, they're not placing prop bets on this right. and that. They're just down there gambling. They're having a good time doing stuff. My, my, you know, would I have had a thought of saying, okay, here's my over. Uh, all right, Lud's going to be a plus two tonight, right? He'll have two plus shots, and then I can. But I mean, you can bet on anything. I mean, you go to the ballpark. Everything from the, 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 the probably the crumbs Pe- on the ground. Penis, penis yes, guy and the, the beer that are yeah. selling. I mean, Luis Gonzalez. Yeah. His bubble gum was for sale. Yeah. I mean, you see, yeah. your mouthpiece yeah. falls in the ice. You hear it. Oh my gosh, that's Craig Ludwig's mouthpiece. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Right. But there are people. That's what I mean. It's almost as if anything is for sale. Your beer bottle. We could probably sell it right now on the show. We probably probably get the six cents it's worth the bottle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not but until it's empty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but think about. It. Would you have thought 15, 20 years ago that gambling? Would, would infiltrate our yeah. our sports to do it that way. See, I just I think what happens to the players that get roped into that stuff. Number one, are weak because weak. because I yeah. I think the bookies are going to a certain player and saying, hey, dude, you're getting fucked. You're not making enough money. You know, you only play this amount of time. I can take care of your mom. You, you know what I mean? And if you want to miss a shot here or there, be, they're not going to the t- well. Besides Otani or whatever the fuck his name is. But they're going typically to guys that are a little bit lower down. Well, but, but the where they put, where'd they go? They went if if it's true, they went to his inter- his interpreter yeah. because hey, he you, have hey, money. yeah, yeah. Not, hey, you're you're making sixty making grand a year. Yeah, yeah. yeah this guy's making seven hundred million dollars. You want to make some yeah, money? Yeah, he pays you right. sixty grand or yeah. whatever. But think yeah. about too per diem. So, you know? We didn't have social media, right? These guys, they know everything about every part of your family. So that's what they're using. They're coming to you, Brad. Hey, I see that you know you, your son-in-law's got the cancer and this and that. Hey, yeah. you need some money? Yeah. What can you? So are and you saying they're basically chumming the is, water? The guys is, that they yeah. but they have all the chum. They know exactly what you're going to bite so on. So is your feeling Otani didn't have any? Is that where you sit right now? You can't you think be, it was more on the interpreter. Why does he need to bet? Seven hundred and fifty million, isn't that his contract? Yeah, that's my like, thing. Why does he I don't need to think. Bet? I don't think the big money guys would ever be. I mean, what, that what do you? Now that's I, what I, I feel. You know who, I, I'm we, just, we know who the biggest better, like. Known is is Phil Mickelson, yeah, and that's son of a gun was making say, a him and Mike Jordan, yeah, yeah, but they're, yeah, but, they're, they're, yeah. but they're honest, with, yeah, I'm betting, yeah, but they, yeah. Tell, but, yeah. but I'm a, but like you said, I'm a golfer, I'm allowed. To, am I betting on myself? If I'm going to make money and everything else, yes, I'm going to bet. But we, but these guys are betting. It's and, and think of, I guess, bad. Well, Jordan didn't do it till after, which right? Is fine. But golf's an individual sport, yeah, type of thing, right? My, the betting Black Sox scandal, right? The entire team, right? Because sure yes, yeah. yeah. but they don't bet. In the in the the heat of playing golf in a tournament, they bet with each other. Kind of with thing. each other. I yeah. mean that. Yeah. I mean, but, but, but you're but you're allowed. But still, you're it's still. But you're I mean, not saying that, that no. Phil drove one into the woods because his buddy. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Right. But he's not throwing matches. Well, yeah, you know, but, okay. yeah. But yeah, they're they're. I mean, they they like to have a good time in gambling, but but just I mean, 
just how Can much we answer the question. Do you actually think Otani has something is involved? You do? I think at some point, that's yes, right? You can't be culpable <laughs> knowing, especially with as much time well, as the interpreters spend with money? their guys. Why would he need more? Well, this is before. Just, this yeah. is before he signed. True. Right? This is all with that. Oh, I yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it all happened before. before. And, you know, he, and he was still making plenty of before? money. Huh? How, how, how long? A it's year a before? Or oh, yeah. Well, I think month, couple, I months. think everything was basically yeah. last year. Think about it, though. But think he knew yeah, he but, was going to get paid, it, right? Lutz? Oh, yes. Yeah. Come on. Let's But let's be honest. As athletes and everything else, how many dumb mistakes have you done? Just dumb, stupid shit. And you just go... How long is this show? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's the point. So, so, so that's what it could have been. It could have been one of those, uh, if. Right? Hey, Brad. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right? Yeah. And realize, oh, oh, sorry, that that place is under federal investigation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what yeah. I mean. So, young, that, young, invincible athlete. And, and, and his t- translator says, dude, if I put this money on this thing, yeah. I can make so much money. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, well, let's talk about P. Diddy now. Oh, my God. Now you're opening. Are we going with the bri- are we going with the bridges too? Yeah, here we go. Holy <laughs> crap! Equal opportunity podcast. <laughs> yeah, P Diddy. Yeah. We, we don't have, we don't have our guys here. We can't. Yeah, we no, no, no. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yes. we have. Yeah. Where's we are, Hark? When we are when missing we the color, our color from our color commentating show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where are they? Yeah, we're not here. Oh, we're not here. We got one with knee surgery. Yeah. Nate we Hark, we miss you. We wish yeah, you were miss here. Miss you a lot. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, <laughs> Menti, you got to go. It's five thirty-seven. We're good. We can finish up. All right, let's finish up. Good. All right. So let's talk a little hockey. Okay. Um, what do you how, want to know? How, how good are the stars? I mean, we're good. Fire Ottinger is, is Ottinger. <laughs> how Ottinger's big of a concern are we? Yeah. I mean, right? I keep hearing even DeBoer say, oh, you know, he hasn't found his uh, rhythm yet. He hasn't found, you know, I mean, shit, we're getting close. We're now. in game 65, 670. Yeah. He, rhythm. Yeah. He, he can find his rhythm. I. <laughs> they're going to go as far, again, you hear it all as the time. Him. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, do they want to go back and forth with him and Wedgwood? No. I mean, you want Jake to be the guy. He proved the only thing that I said a long time ago when he came off the Calgary series where he was so good. I mean, sixty some shots and they lost that one. The hardest thing for him was to to live up to that the following year as a young goalie. But he, to me, he has such a calm demeanor. Yeah. He's not a cocky person. Yeah. I think he believes in in his abilities but I've always I think when you have a goalie that's that good that can be that good he's very calm don't create more problems in front of him that you don't have to <clears throat> they they've won a bunch of games this year the only issue that I have with as a group is they, they've let things get away from them late yeah and I think it's it's a system that they play in their zone, and it's a man-on-man kind of system. And for me, I, I, I'm not that guy, but again, they've won a lot of games by doing it, so you can't complain with it. They got, what, six, seven, 20 goal scorers now in this seven. game, which is crazy. Franchise record. <clears throat> which is goal, crazy. 20 goal scorers. They, they can score goals. Yeah. But you, playoffs are always a little different. Yeah. You know, the goals should take care of themselves, but let's not let teams climb back into the game. And so I guess, I think Jake Ottinger is good enough to say, you guys want to, I'm going to stop this one. I'm going to stop that one. But when we create our own problems in front of them, and it goes from here to here, or goes here to here, or or my biggest pet peeve in, in, in these kind of systems is, and you played, when if you grow up as a defenseman, you play a lot in front of your own net, and in the corners, right? So, but when you play man on man, and you're, I got you, but you go out to the blue line or above the tops of the circles, and now all of a sudden, you're me as a defenseman, position. I'm yeah. up there. Yeah. Who's got to be in front? Right. That's a forward. Forwards weren't really groomed on playing in front of their own net. They don't know how to seal guys out. They don't get the right body position. And I see some of those kind of goals that go in. I don't put those on, on Jake all the time. Okay. That, that's my feeling. But again, I will continue to say that they've won a lot of games and they're really good. But you get to the playoffs, I don't think you have to trade well, chances. And that's what worries me a little bit about the playoffs is that you know that there's a steady diet of 2 1 games, right? Yeah. You can have all the 20 goal scorers Not you want. Not a lot of 6 5, 7 no. 5 games. So. Right. Well, yep. You know, they got to be. I yep. mean, do they have enough? Like, was getting Tanev enough at the trade deadline uh, to bolster? The it it gives you a, a, a solid top four. That's what it does. Yeah. It gives you a top four. Now, Hockenpah is injured right now. Lundqvist, if he's got to come in, Suter. You know, he, Suits is getting a little older, but Suits is a guy that really likes man on man because there are times that 
literally sometimes when the puck is coming at your net but my guy's going over there you don't just turn your back but he's told that's what i'm supposed to do i play man on man where i wouldn't be as black and white as that so what Tanev has done is, and again, I think they had a couple different ways they'd go. I, I wish Harley was right-handed, because if he was, him and Miro would be the perfect pair. Yeah. Harley's going to be a steady, he already is. But isn't Tanev the only right-handed guy we got? Uh, Aren't they all? <coughs> Huck and Paws right, I believe. Is okay. Lundqvist right. is right-handed. But what it, what, it, what it would do is if you could have Tanev play with Haskin, you'd get number two things. Really good offensive guy, defensive guy, complement right. each other. But you get Miro back to his strong side. I don't think he's bad on his offside. He's so talented he can play there. But I think he's more comfortable on his on the left side. But you got a lefty righty, and then you could have. But you, again, you don't have that right. So, and I think you have two ways to go. <clears throat> you either say we're putting Miro and Thomas together. That's what they're doing. Along with your, if you want to go strength on strength, you want to go power against power. Everybody's going to say that. Oh yeah, well, you got uh, Pavs and you know Hints and. Robo, I think the best line this year has been the Duchesne line. Yeah. I mean, Duchesne, Marchman, I mean, and they, they've just been, they dominate offensively. So, but anyway, you can load up your offensive line and say, we're just going power against power. Or you can take a guy like, you know, now it, it's, it's these two guys. I mean, you've got those two guys that are your second pair. You can put them against the top line. Just say, we're going to shut the top line down. And you can you can match that way. I think what they're going to do is they're going to go power against power, and because they have been outscoring yeah. teams, I, I you know, and players. And if you can, the, the concept of the philosophy a lot of times is we spend more time in that zone than we do in our zone. I mean, the numbers that, are going to uh, yeah. be in your favor. Yeah, but you're right. I mean, but you think about playoff time. What happens? What happens? Well, everything times up. Yeah, yes, absolutely. exactly. And, absolutely. That, and I'm worried about who they could play in the first round, which is Vegas. Yeah, Vegas took advantage of them in the man on man stuff last year. That's yeah. what I thought they did. So they beat. Them. Yeah. That's what they did. Is they they took advantage and they, they know you're playing a certain system and it's, I'm just going to skate up here and they're just this gonna man, open up. man on man right now. Just in hockey, it, it, it sounds more like window dressing, right? You, it's just kind of like an offense, right? Where they're just running, you're running guys across the just across the back of the, of the line, just yep. right, just to hey, here we go. But if we can, what like you said, we can pull guys out to put somebody else in. That's what you do. Yes, and that's and, and I get that's the philosophy if I can pull you're trying to do. Defenseman out of position, yes, right. exactly, and, and, and force a forward to play in front yeah, of his own net. Yeah, because we one, just got to beat a forward. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're not going to be blocking shots like defensemen yeah. are. They're not going to know you know angles Stick and everything else right. what's going on. Yeah. So, but you're right. But that's it, where your goaltender is supposed to come and make those saves. What I'm saying is, don't force Jake to have to make those saves. Just let him kind of sit back in a chair and keep things does on the he call, does he Is he calling out from, from the back behind them? Of, of, I don't think so. You don't I, think? I don't think. Did, I you think, play with, I think did, you play with, did you play with goalies that did that? Lutz, hey. No. Lutz, no? All the goalies I played with, quiet. Because we didn't play like that. We did our jobs. Yeah. And we were pretty good that. at it. Yeah. They did their job. The only time <laughs> was probably Eddie when he first got here. Eddie made a comment, actually, in the paper one day, because a couple goals went in on Ed. And... and um, he said, well, I don't know how I'm supposed to stop all these shots with these guys all trying to block shots and tuck, pucks getting tipped and stuff like that. <coughs> you mean, he, I'll just he, move. he actually had a point, right? Yeah. Because he's such a good goalie. And, and I went into the film room with it one day. and Because it, it was in the paper the next day and I read it. You know, I was a little pissed off. I thought you guys didn't nah. the paper. <laughs> I thought you guys didn't well, you're doing your job. You're pissing <laughs> me off. You're, you're, right. only, like, you're not playing in Chicago. <laughs> you're not going to get 40 shots. Right. You're going to get 22 or 23. Yeah. <laughs> But what happened was, there was a shot that Daryl Sador, um, it was in neutral zone, and a puck got tipped. It hit Sid's stick, and it was between center ice and our blue line. Yeah. And there, un unfortunately for Ed, there was a camera right behind him. You know, yeah. back in the day, yeah. there was one. Well, when, when, you can imagine, when you tip a puck from center ice, it moved this much. Yeah. And it went in on Eddie, and it was like a <laughs> rare goal. And that, the comment was made, you know, that after yeah. the game. Yeah. So... I went in there and we looked at it and I'm like, what are you making now? You're making five million here? <laughs> so you're telling me <laughs> 100 feet away, you can't pick a puck up like this much? Yeah. And I said, Ed, but you're right. Like we, there are times that we can get out of the way. And, and then we kind of created a monster. And, and you know, there's some of those guys, Al McKinnis and I, afraid of all the guys that can, that can let him. the puck. Eddie would come up to me on face-offs in our own zone. He'd skate out and there's a face-off, you know, this side or this side of the net. He'd kind of skate up to me, tap me in the back. 
Let's you take the low, I'll take the high. I'm like, oh sure, that's Ray Bork and that's Al McGinnis yeah. right there. Yeah. <clears throat> now yeah. it's okay to block the yeah. shots. <clears throat> but again, it's kind of working together. But the thing, yeah. I think what we all learned was we were, I mean, because Hitchcock and those guys and Ganey, they're very good at defensive zone coverage. Yeah. You're going to get shots from over there and over there, and and goalies can just kind of get here, do the job, and do what they do. They don't have to overwork. But think about it. As, as a hockey, as a defense, or as a hockey player in general, in the defensive zone, what, somebody's going to take a shot. What is your first thought? Put a stick or something in the way of it. Yeah. Well, that's what you're, yeah. But see, forwards, that's not their instincts. Right. That, that's what yeah. I mean. And, and, this, and you said <laughs> defensemen are going to block the shot? Not anymore. No. Not anymore. Oh, you'd be surprised. Do they? Oh, no. Are they getting down no, to you block would, them you like you do? Used to? You'd be surprised how many... How many shots that are blocked? Now, again, you play for Philly, Torts, even in, in with the Rangers. I mean, some of these coaches are, are very hard. you got to get in shot line. Everybody wants to get in shot lines. You have yeah. players on the offensive side of things, they, they have this long take a shot. You know, because there's somebody that's going to get in the lane. Get You're the taught when the, when the puck goes from here and it goes out to the point, you don't go like that. You go like Two. this, and yeah. then you go to them because you get into that passing or that shooting lane, so then now they got to move it back down here. But when you play a certain system in your zone and you're just doing this stuff all the time, you're not always in shot lanes. And then you end up, like I said, you've got, you got players that are not playing the position that they were taught to play, so to speak. But again, I, I will say it, that they are a team that, that can score three, four goals a game, but you guys are both right. Playoff time, you're going to run into a hot goal. Yeah. You're That's gonna all get it is. You're gonna just get like it. a hot pitching staff in baseball. Yep, you just, yep. You just, yep. And, and then... They, and you're right, guys. There are teams that back in. They back into the playoffs. But what happens? One one guy. Oh yeah. One guy gets hot, right? You've got somebody that's going to put the puck in the net, yep. right? He ends up being like a plus twelve, plus fifteen in the playoffs because of he just got hot at the right time. Yep. But it but it is the back end too, though, right? It's the goalie. If if and it's a frustrating. It, if you play right, you frustrate them. They don't. Yes. They, like yeah. just pissed off. Yeah. You there was a in. year uh, Anaheim got in early 2000s. Remember, yep. and they, a goalie just stood on his head. Yeah. Uh, he uh, Jagger. Yeah. Yeah. John, yeah. They won yeah. the cup. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. I don't think they won the cup there that year, but they, was like, yeah. but he was actually the Con Smythe winner that didn't win the cup. Wow. He was that good. The second so he got one behind Hextall, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hextall yeah. did that yeah. back in yeah. the yeah. 80s yeah. with the yeah. Flyers. But, yeah. but that's what you're looking for, though. It's just a matter of – because, I mean, you look at these teams. Last year, who would have thought Florida – Right would have been to the Florida's east. Tough. Right, really? I mean, Boston's just been just been all year, steamrolling all teams. years. Yeah, and here we go, and then you run into these but teams that, that was are because a Bobrovsky all of a sudden woke up. But he does that. He wakes yeah. up for two or three and rounds, and then all of a sudden he's he just, been like that this year. I mean, Florida's probably the toughest. Philly, Philly brought I would up. say Florida on the east on the east side of things. I'd say Florida, Carolina. And again, you're going to say Boston and the Rangers. I mean, that, that, that's, yeah. I, I can understand that. But I would say Florida's got to be number one to win the cup on the East, and Carolina maybe number two. How and about then on, on the West, there's like six it, teams, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for, you got Dallas, number one. Yes. They you can think, get there. Colorado, yeah. Yeah. they always, can get there. Always, but they seem to have developed this, how they just keep, continue to just to build from what they have. Right, from, it seems like there's never much change there. Well, they made a couple good moves. They made a couple changes. Yes. Not like Vegas. No, Vegas, Vegas knows how to. Yeah, they can kind of circumvent the cap. I mean, they're going to get Mark Stone back. Eichel's back now, but because there is no salary cap once you get it into the playoffs, so they can pick up a couple guys, which they did. A couple guys on some some big contracts. They picked them up, but they got two guys that are hurt, so they fit into the cap now. But then, when when game 83 comes, there's no more cap. So these guys can all come back, and that eighty-four million dollar cap is now at a hundred. Tampa did it. That's wow. how Tampa won it. But, but mean, look, they had but look at where they've been now. Now all of a sudden they've just, they're struggling right now. Yeah, Tampa, but right yeah, now, yeah, Dallas could play them in the first round. Yeah, which is a problem. That, that, that could That's, be a point. Yes, but yeah. see, they don't. They haven't been healthy all year long. And now yeah. they're starting to get healthy. And then you know, it's the whole you won the cup before. You know what it takes. You're gonna. You all talk about that. We know what it takes. All you gotta do is get to the dance. That's all we got to yeah. do. And you know, here we it go. doesn't matter. All right. It's no, let's, uh, let's pretend that Derek and Nate are here. Derek, what do you think of the Mavs? They're great. Nate, are they? What do you, I think they are. They, they've actually, they're, they're trending up. They're, uh, they're a tough team in the middle right now between uh, Daniel Gafford and Derek Lively Jr. Uh, they're really, that's the, that was like the missing piece. Right? I believe it because I don't know either one yeah. of their names. Yeah, and I, know, <laughs> I tell people NBA names and they're like, nope. I've never nope. heard of that guy. Um, I've heard of them, but yeah, it's just, yeah. You're right, but, but basketball right now, I mean, you think about it, right? You could have your best players out there and you take Philly, for instance. 
without Embiid, right? Yep. They've they've fallen to that the play in spot. Yet yep. I'm looking. I go. They're going to get boat race every night. I look, and they're wait. They just won a game. How, what yeah. what is going on? But and the beauty of it though, like you talk about you talk about injuries, hockey, baseball, whatever it is, the guys that are getting the reps, getting the time, and all of a sudden now you've got your guys healthy. Now you're not playing right. with just six guys, seven guys. You're playing with a full bench of guys. Right. A couple what's of guys. a full bench? Nine guys? What's well, I don't know what eight, eight or nine is you know. What's, I don't know what yeah. basketball carries. I mean, they yeah, have they a, carry. I think they carry fifteen. But in the playoffs, especially, you're only going eight deep at the most. Maybe maybe nine. But, but you now you've got guys eight. you can rely on, right? Now you're playing. But now you got to get an Embiid back. Yes. Right. If you've you're got Philly, yes. If they're not going anywhere in the playoffs no. unless but, they get Embiid. But a healthy. But he's you know back. But being able to do that, right? But like you said, you get in. Okay. Now they they get into this the play the play in. Yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah. It's and a different play in? Yes. Oh they my do. gosh. They have an in season tournament. Now they have a post a postseason play in tournament. How I many mean, teams? It's all about money. Are there not 16 teams in the NBA that get in? It's yeah. It's there's more. the top so, but now, six. The top six are automatically, and then there's a play in for. There's so then you get four more that have a chance. Seven through ten are in a playoff. Yeah. There's you a, get four more. That the top have a six chance. are in. I think then seven plays nine. Seven plays seven, ten, and eight ten. plays nine. Then they play. They do and then the game. winners of those two games play the each top. other. Yeah, and they, they get the eight. Okay, when the real tournament starts, how many teams are in? Sixteen. 16? Yeah, six. Okay, so they're just creating. They're just it's money. Going. It's yeah. basketball, right? It's we, we're 64. Now we're, we'll be at 125 uh, yeah. at some point in basketball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. we got. Uh, that's How many teams are in the NBA? 32. Well, just like hockey. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. 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 And there'll be more. There's going to be there's going to be expansion. In Vegas is going to be one of them. Yep. You know that. Yep. Yeah. Isn't uh, LeBron going to buy that team? Yeah. Uh, Tom Brady's about to buy the Raiders. He's about I heard that. Oh, really? That's what I keep hearing, right? Or, oh. or the, the, the bid for Brady to buy it, you know, and then Goodell yeah, but comes he, out. That's because he's going to be on our team and he's going to come back and play. Yeah, probably not. He's been playing too much golf. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But that's what. It, but that's what. It, think about it. These big cities. Nashville's going to be another one that's going to yep. get. Yeah. That's going to have. They're going to have baseball. baseball. They're going to have baseball. Yeah, they're going to have baseball. Yeah, as well, because they're building a brand new football stadium. It's, yeah. Something un- ungodly that they're building down there. So you've got hockey, you got basketball. Oh no, you got Memphis. But yeah. they don't have basketball. I mean, yeah. I think did they have? No, Nashville didn't. Have, what was the other team that was there? You know, people that are listening Bryant to this podcast. Played for, remember? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was that's Memphis. Was, well, then was the other team that was down there that you understand? Though, that if people yeah. that are listening to this podcast. People are thinking, why don't these guys just stick to what they know? They have no idea. <laughs> so, about we're just we're trying to nod to Derek and Nate. Nate, how do you think the Cowboys will be? Oh my God! Yeah, I, I meant you almost choked. They had. This is a bad off season. So why? You. Cowboys not going to be good? Well, I don't think so. No, they aren't. Is that right? Jerry's Haven't like, you seen the Circle of Life for the Cowboys? Jerry, no, I don't. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I Jerry's like. Jerry's like. What does the uh, Circle of Life mean? What? This is our year. We're good. We get to the playoffs. We choke. How are we going back to the? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think the Green Bay Packers had something to do with that, didn't they? Yes, they did. Oh, every right. year. Yeah, every it's year. It's usually Aaron Rodgers now. It's Jordan Love's daddy. They're their daddy yeah. now. Yeah, I thought he was going to be a vice president. Hell, for it was uh, it was uh, Brett Favre back in the day. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, no, but they what they have done. Jerry says we're all in, and they haven't done anything. They spent three million dollars. I think they agencies. hired a new announcer. Yeah, a couple of training yeah. staff members. Yeah. They've done nothing. So, is it time for Jerry to go? Have you ever heard that oh, talk before? Uh, yeah. If you ask any Cowboy fan, they've been waiting for that. But think about it. I, Jerry, play, Jerry plays. He's the owner, right? What's the owner's job? Uh, spend money. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's the general manager's job to? To build a team. What happens when you're both? <laughs> yeah. Right? Well, you're supposed to spend money and. Yeah, but if, if I'm a. You, you're an owner. You own. But so wait, somebody else but run you do, He does want to win. Uh, he like, does. He does. About to pay Dak but he wants eight hundred million dollars. Yeah. I yeah. thought he already got four hundred. No. Five hundred. No, he they, did. But it was a short contract. Yes. So he, his so cap, the cap, their cap space. So we'll, we'll go through. I think the division they talked about. With, I guess his salary cap hit this year is like fifty million or yeah, fifty-five, six, almost sixty. Almost like, sixty. I think it's fifty-nine. Yes. Yeah. The Eagles go out and million. sign about six dudes or something, and they're still thirty-two million under their cap. Yeah. Their cap hit. Yeah. They restructured. I think they restructured Dak, right? They, something. They haven't. That, yeah. That, I mean, they, they did. They're talking about they're it. They're talking about adding years like, to it. You add. You pay all this for one player. You can't go get. One another player. It's like a video game. Well, I just want the best guy, Rad. I'm going to sign Rad, but yeah. you know what? Yeah. Whatever, we'll do this. And How's then, that working out? Yeah, yeah. no. But that's what I'm yeah. saying. That's why Cowboy fans. That's why I love it because there's always turmoil. But that's why Cowboy fans are so pissed off because you. This is not a video game. This is reality. Do Cowboy fans like that? 
I think you see the guy. I hear people all the time. That's probably 50 50, though, but you're right. I mean, you know, he he hasn't won. Yeah. You know? That's what people base it off of. What have you done for? The winning is is nothing. I mean, it's, you know, just like with Romo. Romo was a a great quarterback, but he didn't win. And they did nothing. Just ask him. Exactly. But that's what I mean. Yeah. But that's what I mean. That's just in general. That's what people want. You. Right? Philly. Philly just for, it's a blue collar city. Yeah. Shut your mouth and do your job. Yeah. Right? Can There's you imagine if, if Dak was in Philly running and these oh. guys are there he would get run out of town. Yeah. I mean, but, but that's just but it's one, what's it come down to? The media. What the media portrays an athlete as. Yeah. Right? He's Dak's a godsend for the cow. That's great. Do you go you go to a football game? I'll go where my Eagles get to talk to him. Oh my gosh, Dak is not the answer. That not this because they're doing they let what Tony Pollard left. Where do you yeah. end up? Tennessee? Yeah. Yep. You're running back that you let go of Zeke, when, the, Zeke year before, the year before. Now you've let the, now you've let go of Pollard. And then now all of a sudden you've missed out on Saquon, you've missed out on, on Derrick Henry, you've missed out on Aaron Jones, you've missed out they on got Austin. Rico Eckler. Dowdle. Who? Rico. Yeah. Rico's oh, running we, back. We don't have enough money because we've got to pay our quarterback. Yeah. And then you're gonna to have to pay Michael Parsons. You're and, by the CD way, Lamb. their quarterback's in peril because they just let the best offensive lineman in the NFL go. to the go. New York Jets yeah. Yeah. to work with Aaron Rodgers. Tyron Smith. So here yeah. you go. But then you've got these other that are – that's the, that's the beauty of is the parity of, across the sport itself, of what these, these guys are doing and the amount of money they're throwing at their quarterbacks. But if you're smart about it, right, you have people around you to, to own. Hey, you're the GM. You're player development. Guys, what do we need to do? As you guys to- need to get out on Sundays more. Like, this is common knowledge. You, yeah, not dude, for me. You yeah. live in a hole. I yeah. know. You do. Yeah. You live in a hole. A still, there's a Christmas tree still up at your parents' house? So, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. she got two of them up there. So when you're listening to a football game, are you a Troy guy or a Romo guy? Neither. They're okay. home. They're 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 they're. Well, homeless. you don't. There's no. There's no. Okay, there's here an option. Okay, here's an option you for you. One I, or the I, other. No, I, I can't. I, Troy's better than I think than Tony. Yes. Okay, but here's. But when you get into announcing sports, for instance, there are homeless. Jack Edwards, Boston Bruins. I have to mute the television. That's a homer. Yeah, I have to mute the yeah. television. And there are guys in the NFL and other sports. Tim McCarver baseball. I had to mute the television because it is so bad. There's no, there's no level playing field. No. Yeah, yeah. You're wrong and you're right. And that's but if it, you're, that's but if you're a Boston Bruins fan, you, you love them. Yeah, oh. you do. But, okay, but I'm just talking about nationally. But just think about though, as a, but as a third party of watching a game, I want to know that they're, you're both sides. I mean, you hear about the playoffs, right? These. All we talk about is one thing. One, John Madden. I mean, it's amazing Brett Favre was able to play football as much as John Madden hung on him. You know, he yeah. wouldn't even be playing. He'd be at home watching playing golf. But Brett Favre would do that. You know, what I mean? stick to what's going on so people can enjoy what they're hearing. They don't want to hear about something. Oh, this is back when this guy did. I don't care. I want to hear what what's going on. I don't want to hear about your political beliefs or anything else. I want to watch a sporting event. I want to know whatever what's going on. What's happening? Back I want to, to the be original side. question: Troy or Romo? If you if you uh, you got two channels, Troy, you're watching the Troy. game. Troy, you? To be honest, I mean, I'd take in, if I'm given only those two choices, I'll take Troy. But I think of the national. But Troy comes with Joe Buck, right? And that's yeah. the problem. So there's your yeah. <laughs> so, but of the national analysts, I think Collinsworth is the best. Oh no, I agree with that hundred percent. Do you? Yeah, oh, I mean, I, I just think Collinsworth hundred percent. To Menchie's point, I think Collinsworth just brings me the game. You know, he I, just shows. I got it. it. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I don't love the guys that get into the game. Yeah, you know, I, if I'm announcing a game, I'm in there. Ooh, gosh, that looked like right. Those are the guys that. That's because, Madden. That's how Madden did. Right. You want to hear that because those are the, they played it. They know what it feels like. And you, no. Right. But I think that too many of them now are analytical. But I'm glad they're getting a lot more guys that have played to, to call to call games. Yeah. Right? I want a hockey guy to call a hockey game. So I yeah. I know who I did not like in the first. I think it was his first year, but I really thought he's come a long way. Is Greg Olson. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I didn't like. Now I think he's kind of opened up a yeah. little bit. Yeah. But that's not what I really care about. I just wanted to because I talk to people all the time and I'm I just curious. I, I don't care either way. I just wanted to. If Troy, I find that Troy <coughs> tells you more about the players, Agreed. what's going on, and stuff like that. Where Romo calls the play yeah. before it happens. And and, it, and he looks and like a, a lot of people sayer. love that. Yeah. They love like they want to say. They want to see that. Man, he's like a. I like the every on every the one of those guys can do that. I mean, they all yeah. especially the quarterbacks. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. quarterbacks look at it and go, oh, yeah, it's going to be a, you know, cover two, go this way. That, you know, they know. 
Um, and Romo just brought it to the air, which was, you know, it's a good part. And then sometimes he just calls a number, a number yeah. of the player. Which good, but like, dude, do you know, the, do you know the guy's name? Or did yeah, you, no. that, is that just old? I mean, is that just when you played? You, you all use numbers. Yeah, 62. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so. All right, man, it's been fun. we got to go. We've solved all the problems. That's it? Sports. We're done? I think we're done. we got to get Menchie out of here. Yeah, I know. We gotta gotta get get I thought you had to leave in 30 minutes. I did. You see what happens around here? Yeah. We've been here for an hour. Yeah. It's the whiskey. It's not us. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and by the way, do you like revolver beer by any way? Yeah, have you had any revolver? I mean, you're, revolver you're not a beer guy. No. Are you not a beer guy so much? I leave the beer to you. Yeah. Yeah. Because John and I had yeah, some we revolver, revolver out there. Yesterday. Yesterday. It was yeah. kind of cool. We were, we're, we're looking for a sponsor revolver. Yeah, well, we store. were yeah. uh, with some snipers and shooting a lot of guns, and they had revolver beer. Yeah. Well, nothing we, be- hey, nothing better the ATF loves than beer and alcohol. Yeah. Or alcohol and guns, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with that. That's another podcast. That's the Suds, and, Suds with Lutz. And <laughs> we got to get Harp and Nate out here. We'll get him out here. We'll get him yeah. back. Talk about co- colored greens. No, and now I'll tell you what we're going to do. <laughs> you know we can do this. Yeah. I'll call our guy, our sniper, yeah. and we'll do a podcast with Nate, Harp, Menchie, you and me, right out from there. Oh, nice. Ooh, shoot. Yeah, guns. we'll do the, yeah, the four of us, and yeah. we'll have a, we'll have a competition. Yeah. A little competition out yeah. there. Okay. I like it. That's and good. Probably only two are going to come back, but we'll have a competition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a fight to the death. Yeah. Exactly. Or we just had so many revolvers, we yeah. just screwed it up with the revolver. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you next time. I, we don't even know what we call this. Well, this is Suns and Luds and Big Head Pod Todd. <laughs> what, 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 do you, what do you actually call it? What is it? Big Head Pod? The Big Head Pod. Big Head Pod. Big Head Pod. And Big the monsters. Pod. I, I don't like understand. Where yeah. you got that name from, but yeah, that's why we have three cameras out here. <laughs> Four. He has had too many concussions. Huh? Yeah. yeah, that's our next topic: concussions. Concussions. We, yeah, I don't know if we got concussions. That. Yeah, next th- next time, let's. Well, it's been awesome. It's been a great evening here at the Bond Shop. We encourage you to get out here to the Bond Shop. The the latest, newest one is right here in Irving on MacArthur, just south of 635. Fantastic Asian food, a huge bar, and look. Superstars, Kevin Mensch and Craig. Yeah. Well, we yeah, they're both looking around. Huh? Yeah. So anyway, we can't thank the Bond Shop enough. We can't thank Playmakers enough. It's been fun. We'll see you next time.